Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2, War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and we're playing the De Saving Your Disaster campaign, The Meat Grinder. It's episode number 11. This is probably going to be either the second last or the last episode. Uh, we feel that the campaign is almost completely saved. Um, as always, before we jump into the action, if you enjoy the content, consider um, subscribing or leaving a like uh, down below. Uh, that helps the channel and with that being said we're jumping into our first uh, fight against uh, Chosen. Uh, the reason why I want to do that is I want to get rid of maybe one or two of the Chosens for him so that he has their weapons and doesn't need to uh, care too much about uh, getting invaded. We know that the Chosen is um, uh, highly susceptible to uh, Templars, which is why we're bringing one. Let me uh, fix the team real quick. All right, here we go. I decided to bring our standard team just to give them some more experience. Typically, you want to assault uh, the chosen stronghold with the best team uh, that you do have available, but I feel very confident that this is not going to be so difficult. So we're going to go in uh, three mimic beacon, uh, two times blue screen rounds, a little bit of explosives, and I upgraded the. Um, mech and gave it finally a shredder gun to make uh, use of its heavy weapon a bit more uh, effectively. So we're going to kill the hunter. Uh, the hunter itself has an, a very very powerful sniper rifle uh, which we're uh, going to give one of our snipers. It allows you to essentially move and take a shot afterwards which is incredibly good. It also Im uh, very much improves death from above and serial as well as some other abilities that just give you one action instead of two. All right, so here, here's the thing. Um, just wanted to add two more, uh, uh, two more things for clarification. So number one, uh, the sniper rifle is probably the strongest uh, weapon in the entire game. Uh, that's why I want to get it to him. Number two, I finally got kind of a font of inspiration of why there is no assassin stronghold on the map. I think he might have tried the assassin's uh, mission previously in his playthrough and got completely wiped out, which would be a good explanation why there is no sign of him out. Um, having a having having a assassin stronghold. That would be really bad. Okay. Yeah, that's probably uh, it. Which means I also got to defend the Avenger because I don't want him to lose. Yeah. That puts him, of course, a bit on a timer, which explains why, or which may explain why he had been so restless in just rushing in, trying to get things done. I can admit when I've made a mistake. Yeah, that is unfortunate. In case you're wondering if I've left some surprises for you along the way the answer is yes think of it as a warm-up before the main event good we don't want to use too many consumables but we want to use some uh, just to make sure that this here is going through smoothly Interesting. So that'll be a better position. Let's start getting everyone uh, pretty low and then face off, finish the job. Up 
my rage. Good. Starting to slowly but surely gain more and more focus here. That'll be one. We don't need overdrive. Need a little bit better to a chance though. Taking full cover behind our mech. Big deal. Placeable to get back into position. You know, let's give the Mac Let's give all in because uh, he can shred. Let's give him threat assessment. Uh, okay, I forgot uh, we took Dr. Feelgood, who does not yet have threat assessment. My bad. This happens if you're continuously changing the operatives. trigger anything. Still got overdrive and a few other cooldowns ready, so I'm really not that worried. Continuing to build up our force, our focus rather. There we go. Full focus. Reload. I... Hmm. I mean, we could go for a kill zone, but I don't suspect that there is any additional enemy coming in at the moment. So I don't want to waste the cooldown. I suppose this is as good a time as any to start testing the defenses. I have to say, I'm rooting for you. These things aren't the best conversationalists. Good. We're putting everyone into full cover. I'm compelled to agree. Sniper Morning. moves up. So first pack of four is down. So this is the end of the map. Yeah. Stomp, stomp, stomp. Wrong exit. We position, position ourselves over here. That, Location that. As you direct. And the characters that will charge in take the position right behind the door. Okay, I'll go. I'm on it. Got it covered. I should probably start going on and on now about how I will defeat you for the glory of the elders. But let's be real. I just like to kill things. Good. So, we're putting everyone in a solid position. Should I double check that for you? 
Everyone is fully reloaded. And next up, we're going to open the door. Let's take a look what's inside. A tower. the kind of enemy that you need to be terribly afraid of. Absolutely. What did you expect? Okay, so back here. Is our next target. Right, I'll go. Moving in. Even if some of that is double movement. Oh, there seems to be a second tower. Oh, well, that's fine. Ah, finally. Good. Time for overdrive. Shredding the tower. Check. I'm almost out of ammo. We could do this here. Realistically speaking, there won't be too many other chances with better targets, more perfectly lined up than that. So it's fine to use some cooldowns. Our sniper could theoretically Move up. Take a solid position there. Problem is a bit the Andromedon. So I think we're going to use one of our mimic beacons here. Just to be safe. Moving up into full cover. Oh, we are out of range of the tower. That is very unfortunate. In the preview, it said that it uh, would be in range. So probably we're going to use the mimic beacon of the sniper. Taking them out one by one. Not the best position, I don't like standing in the open. But it was an easy kill. Still gotta deal with the tower. Wow, we can't see the tower again. This is frustrating. The preview is clearly wrong. 
and show the tower twice. So what we're going to do is just stunning it. I don't want it to take two shots at the Mimic Beacon, that's all. So I think we got the Blade Storm now. Yep, we do. Which means with a Mimic Beacon. This here is actually a pretty reasonable move. Could have moved even one step further and then... Um, oh yeah, we do have a place for perfect. So, what I'm going to do is position the Mimic Beacon in a way. Over here. That the Andromedon is hopefully going to charge next to it. Or you know what? Let's just position ourselves here. And here. Which means we're going to trigger... Blade Storm. So yeah, two Blade Storm hits right there. The armor took a lot of the damage. But yeah, that's some um, bonus damage right there. You will never give up the fight, for you are You are going to die. Moving into full cover. Let's shred this guy. Perfect. Good. So... That's one hit. It's still moving. Should have used um, the quick draw. Slowly move up. What's over there? On Overwatch. I often wonder, Commander, if you told them what you saw in the Elder's Chamber, the truth of what's to come. No, you couldn't have. They'd be home screaming now if you did. Uh, I guess that'll be okay. Good. Aftermath here. Roger that. Starts moving up. Let's move already. I think we do have one more room to go. It is clear. I'm ready. I'm ready. All right. Time for a reload so for everyone. And I think we're soon going to be times like in the last room. I regret losing. This very much looks like it. The fear you are experiencing now must be so exhilarating. I almost wish we could switch places. Almost. No need to ask twice. All right, moving in. On the move. A good decision. Overwatch engaged. So, what do you really think will happen if you win today? Planning to hop over. The hunter continues to rent on and on and on and on. Save humanity and reclaim the world. Not on my watch. 
Yeah, I thought it was a dead end. There wasn't even a necessity to open this room. Well, some doors better be left closed or unopened. I guess we can't close them now, so that'll cost us another grenade. This is for you. Good, let's... Start moving in. And we're going to kill the mutants first. We do have a place of those, so I don't yet know where I'm going to position myself. Killed it, okay. There we go, very nice. Perfect, good. Now... Sure thing. All we need to do is go in. And clean house. By the numbers. Don't worry about him. Still got blade storms ready. Even if we would be missing, we would just position ourselves next to him and essentially kill him. I definitely got that one. Good. Andromedon. Right, go. Two blade storms right next to it. Should be killed. Well, we are currently killing every single pot in this uh, stronghold. Didn't want to showcase how to trigger them all. I actually just want to get into the final room. That's one. Let's position ourselves here and here. And the other two are going to rush through the doors. If someone would be behind the doors, um, and open them now, they couldn't move through them, and instead they would take a blade storm attack. Either of the doors, by the way. Alright, final chamber.
Don't have lightning hands yet. But we do have overdrive. First things first though. That's a nice hit. Here trigger free action, above it. That's another great hit. That's another wonderful hit. We're going to finish the Archon because we do have a superior repeater, meaning it will die even if we miss. Starting to deal damage to the Spectre. And with blue screen rounds, that's an easy kill. Superior scope is absolutely fantastic. That's really, really, really good loot. Heading out. Reload sequence. Running. Okay, I'll go. Good. Block the game. There we go. Good. One. Got it. Two. Energy signature directly ahead. This appears to be an alien transport. Come on, Tiger. We know the drill. Understood. Looks like we found our way out of here. Testing this unit's agility. Reloading. We're going to wait for our cooldowns to be ready again. Ready to rock. That's one. And that's another one. Good. Everyone's ready. So time to go to the well done, chamber. Baby. Let's go guys. See you on the other side. Belly of the beast now, people. Speed carefully. Okay, perfect. What is that? Some kind of stasis chamber for the children? That is the uh, sarcophagus, uh, and we're going to be tasked to kill it. I think 50 hit points should be too difficult to chew through. The real fight begins. See you soon. Right, I'll go. There is no need to hurry here. So we can very calmly Finally. begin to move a bit closer. So There's a spawn of chrysalids here. This Might as well take them now. At least it used to be chrysalids. No clue if they've changed it. Well, it's just two enemies, okay. Maybe I was just always unlucky and received two chrysalids. Who knows? Let's do this. Good, moving up. We do have death from above, so this here. It's for bonus action.
Now we do have uh, full focus. We do not need to take any risks. Um, Did you, say so? you know what? I don't mind standing in the open. Check it before you get too close. That's another bit of loot right there. Our sniper up here and switching sides. Saving some time by summoning the ghost now. That essentially saves us an action. Superior focus is good. Uh, the advanced scope is also not bad. So couple of new piece, uh, new upgrades for these weapons. Father really outdid himself, didn't he? Oh, if it's worth it. What's over there? Not a problem. Good. Tired of waiting around. Next round, we're going to go in. Got it covered. Enough turn. Absolutely. All right, this is going to be uh, the fight. All right, we've faced these things before, and we can do it again. No matter what happens today, only one side is leaving this. Place. Well, guess who has an increased fear of tempers? Damn right, that's you. And take another guess. Who needs to be shredded? Let's move already. Ah, damn right, that's you again. 100%, we can save a grenade, so might as well shred it. Plus increased damage from high ground. Okay, I'll go. This could be an execution. Fortunately not. Well, close to. I'm saving most of my cooldowns. Perfect option, by the way, for a double of Templar's sandwich. There we go. The elders have done much worse. And you know, maybe I'm not saving the cooldowns. We are going to kill him. That way, we do have the sarcophagus. Just a tiny bit longer, for just for us. Doctor, the device appears and we will have an extra round as well on top of it. Tremendous amounts of psionic energy directly to the chosen, restoring them. No wonder these things don't die. Time for an overdrive. And we're going to start wailing down. Thanks to the weapon upgrade. 
me to reload, please. What's over there? Well, it's actually dealing quite a bit of damage. Alright, these are the potential enemies. Which, by the way, will die once we have killed these sarcophagus. And the trolls now afterwards. Now that's easy. Sarcophagus is our main target. It is clear. So, could we hit him with a pistol as well? Yeah, we can. Alright, just gotta remove the overwatch. And to be honest, we might as well just kill. We have enough to kill the sarcophagus for a single second, I was like. Well, we could use uh, teamwork uh, to give our ranger, a, uh, our assault rather, another turn. Uh, I'm trusting you here. But that's not needed. There we go. I'm hoping that's a good thing. Yes. The regeneration process has been interrupted. Readings on the capacitor indicate it has become highly unstable. Then let's target that chosen with everything we've got. All right. Can't move right next to it. The Codex will teleport away, so it's quasi-immune to, um, to Bladestorm. And I would want to save the Templar's Ghost for uh, the actual Chosen. So we're maybe taking some damage here. Um, we're certainly going to take the Psionic Bomb. That's not a problem, in my opinion. And maybe we're taking one shot. That's going to be the psionic bomb. Didn't really affect anyone. And that codex decided to move instead of teleport for whatever reason. Hesitate to pull the trigger. I like that. Now that wasn't supposed to happen. And just when I was starting to like you, you're the reason why this world can't have nice things. Yeah, all good. We will learn in time that he has messed with the wrong people. There we go. Oh, are you hurt? I'm so sorry. Going to use the ghost, although he will disappear afterwards. And we're going to power fist him right into the ether. There we go, buddy. Eat my fist. And that actually should have been the end. Yes, no, maybe. Motion earned. It 
wasn't easy, but we managed to pull it off, Commander. If only we could see the look on the Elders' faces. Good. That concludes the chapter with the Hunter. And there we go. Another flawless mission. Got a nice promotion. Channeling field. I like it. But I think we're going to go with Hunter Protocol. The extra overwatch is super helpful. Dr. Feelgood finally gets his threat assessment going. And we do have the option for Volatile Mix versus Chain Shot. Chain Shot is a bit of a trap if you have a low aim. Um, Grenadier, so I'm going to go for Volatile Mix. You can always get Chain Shot with ability points later, it's not a problem. We got the Hunter's Dark Lance and the Dark Claw, which is a very nice weapon as well. Two Adarium Core, Superior Scope and Advanced Scope. Good, and we even got a potential for a level 3 bond. Before we do that, let's shortly train abilities and see what we got. I mean, capacita dis uh, Capacitator Discharge on top of the Restoration for fi only 15 points, probably worth it. So we're going to go for it, which means you do have a super uh, good kernel with Maximilian Richter. Right. Today, you have dealt the elders a great blow and forever sealed the bond between. Yeah, so that was the only thing that we could upgrade, unfortunately, for now. It's okay. Not the end of the world. Got a few shaken and tired forces. Um, as for the equipment, never started to use uh, the Icarus suit, so that'll be uh, something that I would um, give the guy from Reddit as a personal gift here. The Icarus suit, super good. As for the loadout, Still need to produce a few things, and I'm also not a hundred percent sure if I can fully hand that over yet. I mean, on the one hand side, he has. Let's take a look if this uh, if this is already fully saved. Uh, he will need to defend against uh, the chosen, uh, who's going to invade, but and, and shoot down the Avenger. But he does have a defense matrix, so that's four towers. He does have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven kernels. Aftermath as um, uh, and the dragoon both as majors. Uh, maybe a tiny bit longer if we're getting if we're uh, getting him. Like two full sets of kernels, that is no longer uh, losable. Specifically with the new orders that we're getting, the dark event will continue uh, to reduce over and over. So, make a contact here. I'm probably going to defend the adventure for him one more time the results of our breakthrough were quite fascinating yeah maybe maybe not i don't know 
So we got the Hunter's Weapons, so that is certainly going to make a huge difference because they are just incredibly strong. Both the pistol and the sniper rifle are outstandingly strong. We completed our research in remarkable time, Command. Darklands and Dark Claw. I will make that our highest Yeah, we don't priority. we don't need that um, sort of training. What we could use is the Avatar autopsy and building up the shadow chamber he needs supplies for that um as for the sharpshooters i think bolts eye here with the dark lance and the dark claw has sufficient aim So that's a good, a very good start. We might want to get a second um, wrath suit. We do have, uh, we do have, I think, two cores at this point. No, three even. So yeah, wrath suit will be uh, the go-to. Probably build uh, one more, um, and then. Experimental heavy weapon, could use one more. And so a Wrath and a War Suit, uh, probably the go-to uh, go options. Yeah, the Colonel here has full training at this point. Void Rift is the only thing that I was, uh, that was missing. Once that training is done, you can essentially field him whenever you want. So by looking at the things, I guess we are at the end uh, of this Saving Your Disaster campaign. Uh, I took it over with the full avatar project uh, and uh, the risk of essentially losing the entire campaign. Uh, he will now get uh, new orders uh, to uh, get one um, blip of avatar progress um, defeated every single month just for free. He has uh, the tactical, uh, mm, uh, the uh, tactical superiority. Uh, um, he has. Let, let's uh, see so that I'm taking the right, uh, mm, the right names. Always having problems remembering the exact names. So uh, the resistance orders. So. Uh, he has a couple of perfect, res uh, a matter of fact, some of the strongest. So technical analysis is super strong, but is together with mental force should uh, make the end game a breeze. He will uh, uh, put um, the other resistance order here to knock down one um, bar uh, every single month in here. Probably throw out uh, the soldier's bond and instead get the um, extra squad, um, uh, the extra double agent plus has a chance for an extra squad as well. He has extra shredding on top of it. Uh, so I would say just in between the eyes, he, he has the strongest um, uh, op, um, uh, ops here. Um, I've killed one of the chosen. Uh, the, the other one is almost ready to be infiltrated. He just needs one more resistance operation mission. We started with uh, zero soldiers and a lot of um, basically fallen soldiers if you if you look at uh, that again uh, that's the 104 uh, fallen comrades so we started with zero soldiers no supplies whatsoever um, he is now at uh, two full stacks if you take the majors into account two full uh, completed uh, teams of um, of colonels uh, the captains are definitely helpful as well, so uh, it's even two and a half. Um, you can recruit uh, new uh, rookies and just continue uh, the uh, training for another psi operative if you want. You can you could create another uh, spark. You do have the option to uh, um, uh, to use much of the many many of the best items 
in the game I gave him the X, um, I um, gave him uh, the uh, sniper rifle, I gave him the dark um, pistol uh, that will help him a lot. So overall um, I would say just really from here um, I don't want to finish the campaign for him, which means we're um, taking this here as uh, the uh, the end screen. I'll send it back to him, and in case uh, there is going to be yet another problem, just send it back to me. We rebuild it up again. So, defense matrix um, stands strong. Shouldn't have a problem with the uh, defense of everything, and uh, this is ready to finish the campaign. Thank you so much for watching. If you do have a disaster campaign that you want to have saved, um, please contact me on Reddit um, or via YouTube and send it to me. I'm more than happy to look into it. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did and uh, see you all in the next episodes and have a great day. Bye bye.